hello friends welcome back to my channel and in this tutorial we are going to see how we can configure alert manager in Prometheus so if you have seen my previous tutorial on Prometheus we have seen how to set up Prometheus how we have uh, configured node exporters right and how we can integrate Grafana we, we have seen all these things in my previous tutorial okay so what we will doing is uh, in this uh, lecture is like we'll be going through the steps on installing alert manager so we'll be already using some machines where we have set up prometheus and also the node exporter okay so if you don't have that set up you can follow my previous tutorial how to set those things okay then we will see how we can configure the prometheus.yaml file for the alert manager to work and also we'll be seeing how we can create some rules uh, for the alerts okay so uh, what we will not be doing in this part or you know in this section of tutorial is like we will not be creating the alert you know yaml file uh, to send the alerts to gmail or slack or you know any other setup uh, which you want to do okay that i will do it as part of next tutorial but in this tutorial we will go through you know what uh, is the yaml files which we need to edit uh, but we'll be also seeing the, how to create the rules and how to set up the prometheus.yaml file okay so before i start uh, i would request you to subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so uh, like the video share and comment okay so we are going to start with the sendos machine so if you have seen my previous tutorial we have a uh, uh, Prometheus install and also the node exporter. Okay, so this machine we have both Prometheus and node exporter in installed and I also have another machine where I have only the node exporter is installed. Okay, so this is how it will be the setup. So there will be one Prometheus setup and two uh, node exporters. Uh, so I'll just show you more about this. So if I go to Prometheus file and if I see my Prometheus.yml file So if you see the Prometheus YAML file, uh, you can see my configuration. I have uh, the node exporter, right? So job name is node exporter, which I have one from the local host, another one from this IP address, okay? And uh, one normal target for the Prometheus is the uh, local host. So let me clear out the screen. So let me start the Prometheus first, okay? So, so I'm just starting the Prometheus, okay? And I'm also want to start the node exporter. Okay. So I have started the node exporter on the Prometheus machine, and I have, let me start the node exporter on this machine. Okay. So I have all those things running. Okay. So if I access the Prometheus with the IP address and the port 9090, you can see the Prometheus page is coming up, right? And if I go to the targets, you can see uh, one endpoint is for your local host metrics from the Prometheus and you have uh, two endpoints for the node exporters, right? One for local host and another one is for the other node exporter machine, okay? So uh, that is how the setup is currently now. So now what we have to do is we have to uh, configure the um, uh, alert manager right so what we need to do is first we need to download the alert manager so if i go to this prometheus.io download and you can check for the alert manager so you can see some download options right so since i'm using linux i will copy this uh, link okay and i will go to the machine prometheus machine i will download it using wget okay so if I run wget, let's wait for this download to be completed. So we'll wait for this download to complete and we have to extract it. So we are almost done. Okay, so let's wait for a few seconds. Okay, so we are done. So let me clear out the screen and you can see we have a download for alert manager right so let me uh, untar it so so let me just use this uh, alert manager and 
let me withdraw it okay so we have a new folder called alert manager okay so let me log into that now you can see you have a alert manager uh, file and we also you have alert manager.yaml so if i read through this alert manager dot yaml file you can see uh, it's mentioned like some route right and uh, what intervals and what is the receiver it's talk about webhook and what the webhook does right so it's using something to use webhook so if we are using like some email or slack or some other kind of method to you know send our alert we need to create some receiver for that and we need to define that here but that i will show you in the upcoming tutorial okay so first i need to configure the alert manager here so that the alert is getting created and we can see the alerts are gen getting generated okay then the next phase would be how to send those alert into our communication channel okay so uh, let me start the alert okay so if i see alert manager okay Okay, so let me show you how we can access the alert manager. So you can access the alert manager using the port 9093. Okay, so the IP address of the machine and 9093. So in our case, so in our case, uh, it's not reachable because the port 9093 is uh, uh, not blocked. So I will go to this machine. Okay, let me exit uh, from the alert manager. So let me add it to the firewall exception. So let me run this command, firewall uh, command to add the 9093 as an exception. And let me run the command to reload the firewall. Okay, so don't worry, I'll give all these commands in the video description. And I will also link the GitHub locations from where you can copy all the commands, okay? Now if I go back to the browser and if I run this uh, machine, okay? Okay, first I need to start the alert manager. So, okay, let me start the alert manager. And if I go back, so now you can see I have an alert manager running, right? So, uh, we don't have any alerts created uh, at this point, okay? So, and nothing is showing up here. But if you see the status, you can see how the alert manager is configured, okay? So, the alert manager is running now. So, now what we need to do is we need to integrate alert manager with the prometheus okay so let me go back to the prometheus machine and uh, let me exit out from the running prometheus okay so if i go back so if i read this uh, prometheus.yaml file okay you can see there is a section for alert manager right so now what we have to do is we need to configure the alert manager over here so it, it can map to the right IP address okay and also we need to define an alert rule so that you know it can see on what rule the alert manager has to be configuring that okay so uh, we will configure these two things in the YAML file first then we will go to create uh, the alert rules okay so let me edit the file first So if you go to my github location i will link this so i have created given this uh, prometheus.yaml configuration how it should be okay so uh, what we need to do is this section so we need to set the rule file okay so i'm going to name the rule file as alert.rules.yaml and the target should be localhost okay 9093 so since uh, i'm using localhost uh, it should be uh, localhost so if you know or you're using some other ip address or some other machine you should uh, map it to that okay so let me remove this okay and this should be mapped to local host okay so that will take care of the alert manager where the alert manager is set up okay now we need to change the rule file okay so what i'm going to do is i'm going to name this uh, file as alert 
dot post dot yaml okay I will keep the second one because it's uh, commented out so anyhow it's not going to work okay so if you don't want you can just remove this so it's not a problem okay so what we did is we changed the target to localhost 9093 and the root file as alert dot rules dot yaml okay so this name you can give anything but only thing you need to remember is uh, we need to create a file in the same name format otherwise it will not work okay so let me save this file okay so next thing what i'm going to do is i'm going to create a file called alert dot rules dot yaml okay and the content of this you can check my github location okay so i have a file called alert.rules.yaml so i have uh, given a template here so what it does is it's checking for uh, instance down alert okay and it will check when there is a uh, an instance is down the node exporter is down it will send you an alert and also it says uh, out of memory and out of this cpu load uh, some configuration okay so you can use this template or if you have some other template you can use that as well so let me just copy this okay i will uh, paste this one here so this will be the alert okay so this will be the uh, alert rule so if you see the name alert.rule so that has to be set correct okay so let me save this file so now we have the all files uh, ready so let me start the prometheus again okay now if you go to the prometheus uh, page again if you go to this uh, rules you can see there is a rules defined now right what we have added there it's showing up here so you see the state okay right and uh, all those things you can see and also you can check the configuration it will show you like when we have added the alert manager and also the alert rules file and if you go to this alerts tab you can see now we have, there are four alerts right uh, high cpu load out of this space uh, instant down right so what i'm going to do is i'm going to uh, shut down one of the node exporter okay so i'm just going to exit from this if i go back to my prometheus yeah, let me refresh it so you can see in prometheus now there is an instant down active right so what does means like now it has uh, identified one of the you know, uh, instance is down so that's why it uh, has created that this there is an one alert in, inside the section of instant now right so now this is what the alert is getting captured okay now what we need to do is next phase is we need to send these alert into the slack or gmail or you know any way how you want to communicate for that we need to configure in the uh, alert manager so that i will show you in the next tutorial but uh, let me just recap what we have done here okay so what we have done is uh, we have installed uh, alert manager so if you see i have a uh, alert manager installed so you can download uh, with wget and we have uh, running alert manager using this file okay i'm not creating as a service we'll, we'll show all these things in the uh, next sections but you know simply you can run this file okay and we have alert manager.yaml which we have not touched this in this section where we have to create a receiver okay to send the notification okay uh, in the case of uh, uh, sorry so in the case of node uh, exporter and uh, prometheus if you go to the prometheus we have a prometheus.yaml file uh, which we have edited right so the prometheus.yaml uh, so there we have added the target for alert manager which is localhost and also we have added a root file right and uh, you see like i have a created a file called alert.rules.yaml here so that is inside the prometheus folder okay it's not in the alert manager so if you read through this uh, we have given the alert set for uh, checking out the instance down uh, out of memory right out of this space high cpu load right so these informations are given here 
so based on that uh, you know we have uh, seen how the alert is getting generated in the prometheus so based on that you see that uh, instance down alert right because we have one node exporter if i uh, like see uh, this one as well maybe let's see now since i have stopped two node exporter you can see there are two active instance right so there are two uh, you know node exporters are down so uh, if i show you the targets you see the two node exporters are down right so that's why that alert is showing uh, two uh, node exporters so if you have a case like uh, high cpu load or such space uh, that also will come up here so next tutorial what we will see is how these alert can be forwarded to your uh, gmail or uh, probably slack in another session or you know uh, i will also see what other options we have it for uh, you know sending the alert to some uh, form of uh, method we want to receive it okay so that is all uh, with this tutorial i hope uh, this tutorial is informative for you and uh, please watch my upcoming part of sessions so that you can uh, continue having more uh, knowledge on the Prometheus the topic. Okay, we'll also see future how these alerts can be integrated to the Grafana. Okay, so kindly subscribe to my channel, like this video, share, and comment.